our attention to the prophet Isaiah, in which he says to us, in that day, you will say, I will say, we will all say together, I give thanks unto the Lord. Now, why are we giving thanks to God? We're giving thanks to God for the great things that he has done, in particular, bringing us out of sin and death and giving to us forgiveness and life. In fact, the whole book of Isaiah is summed up in the personal work of Jesus who will save us from our sins. That's his name. Jesus saves. That's what he does. And so in the previous chapter, he was telling us how God himself will bring into fulfillment all of these promises of life and salvation found in Jesus through the birth of the baby boy born in Bethlehem, that you have a shoot will come from the stump of Jesse. He'll be from the house of David. And now in chapter 12, the very next chapter, we're going to sing and we're going to say, I will give thanks to the Lord. Why are we giving thanks? In particular, because although God was angry with us, his anger was turned away. Now, why was God angry with us? Well, sin provokes God to anger. And God then gives to us the promise of one who takes away sin. And when he takes away sin, he takes away the anger. So although God was angry with us because of sin, his anger was turned away. That anger was turned toward Christ on the cross, in which the wrath of God was poured out upon him, the one who knew no sin. But all of our sin were, was laid upon his shoulders on that tree, and he hung for us so that the anger of God would be turned away. And it's that rejoicing that we have in which we say God has done this so that we would be comforted, that I would trust in you and not be dismayed. Comforted in the conscience, knowing that we do sin, realizing our own guilt, recognizing our own punishment that we deserve for what we have done and who we are, but yet hearing these wonderful words of Jesus, that he becomes a song to us, a song that we would sing that he becomes our salvation. He becomes our strength in our song. Of course, all of this is echoing back with the words of Moses. In fact, the song of Moses at the Red Sea, when Yah, Yahweh, has become the strength and the song and the salvation of the people of God. Jesus is Yah. He is Yahweh. And so we rejoice that he is the one who comes to save us from ourselves, from our own sins. And then we gather together on that day, in that day, every day. In fact, in the whole season of Lent, every Sunday, we gather as the people of God as a mini Easter, rejoicing in what Jesus has done to take away our sins. So we sing together and we say to each other, proclaiming the name of the Lord in what he has done, rejoicing in his voice that he has come. He is our king. He's the crucified king the one who gives us comfort in our conscience. Thanks for watching us talk at you. If you want to see us talk at you some more, subscribe to see notifications when we talk at you the next time. Donate to support Higher Things at higherthings.org slash giving. Help us to help you. And if you like this video, check out our website at higherthings.org and check out more content from Higher Things.